today's brand crazed culture, labels matter. Whether it's a coach purse, a Rolex watch, or an Apple iPad, certain brands are status symbols. Brand obsession actually fuels the market for knockoffs and products ranging from purses to perfume, from computer games to computer tablets. But getting that good deal can actually sometimes be too, too good to be true. Here today to tell us how to tell the real from the fake is Tom Bartholomew. How are you from the BBB? Hey, Doing Tom. Great. Good morning. All right, so let's just hit on that first. Real versus fake. Sometimes you want to buy a gift around the holidays and you think you're just scoring really good. Hey, I got a deal on this designer purse, for example. It is maybe too good to be true. It, it can be. And we see this some in Charlotte, especially, I mean, if you're at the mall, it's not going to happen in a department store, but it could happen at a kiosk. You know, they're here for a month, month and a half, and then they're gone. And the most counterfeited items out there are leather goods, uh, purses. Uh, they've, they've done a much better job of spelling the name correctly now, you know, the coach with the C and, uh, and other things like that. But uh, good thing to tell on leather goods, just check the inside of the bag, smell it. Uh, if it smells like petroleum, it means it's not leather. Uh, and if it's in a box, open the box and you'll get overpowered with that petroleum smell. Uh, but other things, sunglasses are, are huge knockoff items. You know, they've got the right labels, they've got the right feel, the right look, but they're just not going to be as durable and they're not going to be that great a gift for somebody if you're giving it uh, this Absolutely. season. I remember back when I was younger, we would go to New York City and Canal Street, right? Yep. That was the thing back in the day. So how are, how are we cracking down on these people who are selling these non-real items? Uh, it's, uh, I mean, especially in New York City. I mean, there you know what you're, you know it's a knockoff. Yes. Uh, the problem is if you're buying something on Craigslist or you're buying something through another online site or you're at a, a kiosk in the mall, it, they're trying to fool you. Uh, and so just having that idea of, wow, this is a really good deal mm -hmm. and it's almost too good to be true, well, it is. And so it's just best to move on. So Friday is a really big shopping day, uh, right? Maybe. You sort of anticipate a lot of people can be fooled easily. What should we look out for on Black Friday? Well, Black Friday especially, what we hear each and every year is stories about limited quantities. So a huge sale, you know, a 49-inch TV for $189. And in the ad, legally, they're supposed to say limited quantities or so many per store. Uh, and so if you don't see that, you're going in there, well, I can show up at 3 o'clock in the afternoon and that deal's still going to be there. And you go in, oh, no, those were, those were all gone this morning. So it, it's that type of, uh, of problem that we have with some retailers, not all, uh, that then we have to work with them to make sure that those disclaimers are put in their ads so that the consumer isn't misled mm -hmm. and their expectations aren't to such a level that, well, okay, I'm going to be able to get this deal too and I don't have to get up at 3 in the morning to be able to score it. Absolutely. Some really good information, Tom. Thanks so much. Sure we appreciate your insight. All right, guys, we'll be right back after this break with more Good Day.